Hi, I'm John from Chatamize, and in this video, I will show you how you can broadcast promotional messages on WhatsApp using 100% WhatsApp approved tools. And you actually need to follow some steps in order to do this without getting banned. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So without further ado, let's dive in. So the first thing that we actually need to do is create our own ManyChat account. And ManyChat is the chapel platform that I recommend for creating WhatsApp automations. And it's also the platform that I'm using for almost all of my clients. So if you go to chatomize.com slash MC, this will bring you directly to the ManyChat website. And then here you can just click on get started and then connect here your WhatsApp account. And then you can just follow the steps and connect your WhatsApp account to ManyChat. And if you're having trouble with connecting a WhatsApp account to ManyChat, I actually have a course called the WhatsApp Automation Start Effect, in which I show you step by step on how you can do this. So I added a link in the description. So I already have a ManyChat account, so I will just click on sign in and sign in with my Facebook profile. And now I am logged in to ManyChat. So that's the first step that you need to take. You need to create your ManyChat account and connect it to WhatsApp. So the second step that you need to do is actually to verify your Facebook business because only verified Facebook businesses can send these promotional messages on WhatsApp. And I actually have a separate video on how you can verify your Facebook business. So I added a link in the description and you can just follow the steps over there. So once you have verified your Facebook business, we can actually determine what people we want to send this message to. So if you have used ManyChat before, you can just go to contacts and then here you can filter on opted in for WhatsApp. And then you will see all the people that are opted in to your WhatsApp chatbot or otherwise you can just search on specific people. So for now, I will just search for my own contact and then here you will see my information. And what you can actually do is I can select my own contacts and I can do a bulk action and I can add a tag. And we can actually use this tag later on in this video to only send the WhatsApp broadcast to people with that specific tag. So here I can click on add tag and then I can just fill in WhatsApp broadcast. This will be a new tag. And so we can add that and click on save, confirm, and now that tag is added to my profile. So here, over here, you can under contact tags, you can see WhatsApp broadcast. If you haven't used ManyChat before, you can also upload a CSV with phone numbers you want to send this message to. So in this case, you can just click on import and then here you need to select a CSV file. So I just created a really simple CSV file with just the first name, last name and a phone number. So the first name is Tess Joran, the last name is Wouters, and the phone number needs to be in an international country code format. So once you've done that, what you can do over here, you can just click on uh, download and choose for CSV. So I already did that. So I will just select that CSV over here. And then you need to confirm that you have obtained the consent to send SMS, email, or in this case, WhatsApp messages. And that's really important. Whether you're sending these promotional broadcasts to existing ManyChat contacts or you're sending them to new ManyChat contacts that you upload with a CSV, it's really important that you have permission from those contacts to send these promotional messages. Because if you don't have the permission from those users and they are going to block you on WhatsApp, you might get banned from the WhatsApp platform. And that's not something that you want. So to have permission to send these messages is really important. So I would just check this, click on next, and then here we need to map the information. So the first name needs to be the first name in ManyChat, the last name also needs to be the last name in ManyChat, and the phone number needs to be the WhatsApp ID. Then we can click on next, and we can also add a tag. And then here I will add the same tag that we used before, so I will choose the WhatsApp broadcast and click on confirm import. Now you will see that the contacts are important and you will see here test your routers with this WhatsApp message. It's opted in for WhatsApp, so that's working. So now we have the contacts we want to send a message to. We need to determine what message we need to send. And in order to send that message, we are going to use a WhatsApp 
message template. And a WhatsApp message template is a special type of message in WhatsApp that we're going to use to send these promotional broadcasts. And I actually have a separate video on just WhatsApp message templates. So if you're more interested in that, I added a link in the description. For now, just know that we're going to use WhatsApp message templates to send these promotional broadcasts. So what you can do, you can go to settings, click on WhatsApp, and then click on message templates. And then we can create a new template. So let's say we are an e-commerce store and we want to thank our loyal customers for being a customer of ours and we're going to give them a 50% coupon code. So what we then need to do is we need to determine our template name. So this will just be for internal reference. So this will be coupon code for loyal customers. The template category needs to be marketing and the language will be English. So once you have done that, we actually can determine the contents of the message. And here we first need to start with a header. So the header can be a text, an image, a video, or a file. So for now, I will just go with text and I will set it to here is your gift. And when you fill this in, it will actually give you a preview over here, how it looks in WhatsApp. And then we can determine the body of the message. So I will just copy this from my second screen and this will be, Thank you for being a loyal customer of company X. As a gift, we want to give you an exclusive coupon code that gives you 50% off on your next order. And when you are using something like a first name, which is a custom field inside ManyChat, we actually also need to give an example of that first name. So in this case, I would just fill in John. And then we can also determine the footer. So the footer text is just a text that appears under this message. So for example, I can send here, send by Chatomize, and then it will appear over here. I'm not going to use that in this tutorial, but just know that that option exists. And lastly, we are going to use a button. And with a WhatsApp message template, we can use a regular button or we can use a URL button. With a regular button, when somebody clicks on that button, it will actually go to another WhatsApp message. With an URL button, it will directly go to your website. So for now, I will go with the regular button and then I will fill in the button text. So this will be, yes, give me the code. And this is too long, I see, so it will be, yes, give me code. And I will add another button for no, not interested. And then you actually need to click here on send to review. And when you click this button, this WhatsApp message template will be sent to WhatsApp. And WhatsApp is really strict with these types of message templates and they want to manually approve them in order that they're not misused by businesses. So when you click on send to review, it will actually be sent to WhatsApp and someone from WhatsApp will look at your message and needs to determine whether it fits with their policies. So you can just click on send to review. So now this WhatsApp message template is sent to WhatsApp and it usually takes one to two business days before you get to know whether it is approved or not. And once it does, you will get an automatic email connected to your ManyChat account. And once you've got it approved, we can actually use this message template inside one of our WhatsApp broadcasts. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you now. So in ManyChat, if we go to broadcasting, we can click here on new broadcast and then we can click on WhatsApp. So then as our first message, we need to determine what that message needs to be. So in this case, we need to go with a message template and we are going to choose our message template. So this will be the coupon code after order. This is another message template that I created before, but this one is already approved by WhatsApp. So I know that it works. So we can just click on it. And as you can see, it's very similar to the message template that we just created. It also gives a coupon code and it also says, are you interested? Yes, give me the code or no, I'm not interested. So when someone clicks on yes, give me the code, we actually want to send another WhatsApp message and this will be a regular message. And then we're going to say, here is your discount code, discount 50, click on the link below to use it on our website. And then if you click on this link, you can determine 
uh, if they click that link uh, where it goes to and this is a short link service that is built in inside ManyChat so you don't have very long links inside your WhatsApp messages. So this is this happens when they click on yes give me the code and if they click on no not interested we are just going to say all right no problem. So that will be it. So this will be the contents of our WhatsApp broadcast. So we're going to say, thank you for your order. As a gift, we want to give you an exclusive coupon code. Are you interested? Then they say, yes, give me the code. Then they get the code or they say, no, not interested. And then we say, all right, not a problem. So this will be the contents of our broadcast. And then we need to determine our target audience. And the target audience is the people that we're going to send this promotional broadcast to. So, Remember that we used the tag in the beginning. That's exactly the tag that we're going to filter on in our target audience. So when you click on condition here, you can click on tag and then you can set it to WhatsApp broadcast. So then you can also see a preview of the people that's going to receive it. So here I can click on it and you will see it will be sent to test drawn routers, which is the contact that I imported with my CSV. And then you can determine whether you want to send it now or whether you want to schedule it. When you click on schedule it, you can just determine the date and time that you want to send it. So you, for example, we can set it to tomorrow and you can set it to 12 o'clock. But for now, I was just going to send it now and click on set live. And now this broadcast will be sent to my WhatsApp number. So I will just go to uh, my WhatsApp account. And then here it says, here is your gift. Thank you for your order. As a gift, we want to give you an exclusive coupon code that gives you 50% off on your next order. Are you interested? Then I say, yes, give me the code. And then it says, here is your discount code, discount 50. Click on the link below to use it on your website. So when you click on this, this will go to my website. And if I click on no, not interested, then it says, all right, no problem. And that's it. That's how you can send promotional broadcasts on WhatsApp. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on using ManyChat or creating WhatsApp automations, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.